Welcome to the channel. Um, if you like little electric bikes, remember to like and subscribe. So this is what we're dealing with here. We've got two of them. We've got two screens. We've got three throttles. We've got three screens, actually, I think. Hmm. So, if I show you quick. Right, so this is the the e-bike one of them's going on. So, actually, this one here came off it. But it started having throttle issues. So, what I'm doing is I'm putting that old one on my um, MXR, my electric pit bike. It's got a Chinese one at the moment, square ways. It's just wastes a lot of electricity and gets really hot. And then the hall's a bit dodgy, it goes on its own. So I'm gonna put this um, sound wave controller on it, should be loads better. And I bought <laughs> the newer version of the exact same one. Or well, I say newer version of the exact same one. The only thing that's actually really different, I think, is um, on the controller, there's like on the LCD, there's like a weird wire coming off it. It's a bit weird. But what's happening is, so it don't really matter, so what's happening is this old LCD is going on it. So if I unplug that now, I'm not really going to be using this new one. That's just going to be a spare because yeah, this old one's going on this bad boy. The wire's in the right places. Oh no, I don't even think the wire's in the right places. Yeah. Oh. Well, that, so that should be all right. And then here's the throttle. So technically, I've got to chop this XD60 off because um, I'm one and two Andersons on there. I've got to sort them connections out. I think I'm going to just rock with the Andersons. I quite like Andersons. And because both the batteries for that bike have XD60s, it makes sense to put the XD60 on this. Right, so, oh, there's already an XD60 on that controller, actually. But anyway, I've got to chop this off, put the Andersons on. Where is my Andersons? I'll show you quick. It's got a mad little setup I've got going here. And the other one is here. Done. All we'll be doing, that's a 100 amp fuse right there. Yeah, so we should be chopping the XD60 off. Straight away onto the Anderson, black onto the Anderson. So that's that done. I'm quickly get rid of these wires. That's the alarm, I'm not using that, that's done. And what's that one? Reverse, we're not using that, that's scary as hell. Right, what's this one? Brake wires, we're not gonna be using them. All right, so self-learning, once we use that, we don't need it anymore. But they're out of the way with. Phase wires. Don't need them, hall wires, what's this one? Throttle, there we go, we need the throttle. Hall sensor, that'll be going on the bike. Speed limit, we don't need that. Cruise, don't need that. What's that? Power assist, don't need that. And what is this? What's this little bad boy? Oh, I ain't got a, um, Oh, it hasn't got a name. I wonder what that is. Oh, that might be the power cable. So on these bikes, they come... Oh, no, there it is. All right, so we ain't got to worry about that. So we need the throttle. This is the alarm power. This is the key one. I'm going to have to worry about... So I've got to... Um, see, what do you take them out? I've got to short this red wire onto the... Onto the positive on the XT60, believe it or not. It's so dodgy. Um, yeah, you, because it's a... Uh, it's like a weird electronic alarm, so to to kind of bypass it, you've got to tape up the black wire, get the red wire, and then kind of short it out to this red wire and a power gun to it. It's so dodge, but it works. So, and then obviously we've got, that's the power lock, and then obviously the key lock is on the, here we go, yeah, this is the key lock, it's on the, on the LCD wire. So there are me three wires for me throttle, and then the two ones for the key lock. And if we go to the throttle over here, that's going to be two, me two for the key lock on the uh, the voltage meter or bar meter. 
that's going to be my three wires and my throttle. And that's a green, red, and black. And a green, red, and black. Hopefully that works out all right. So there we have it on that one. That's how that's going. And we're using the original, obviously the XD60 from the other controllers going on this. Look how dodgy these bloody wires are. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, here's a good example. So that's how it's shorted. So you get the black wire, the red wire, and just short her straight in. And black wires on its own. That's what I'm these South London wires are amazing. If you don't know what the South London wires do, they um, spin the wheel the other way for you. Well, that's it. That's the update. And um, <coughs> yeah, I'll um, I'll do a video on wiring them all up and putting them in, and um, we'll go from there and see how she runs. But I think this is going to be probably the best replacement. Well, before anything, I'm going over the batteries. Right, so first off, down there, that's the original MXR battery. There's a high discharge lithium battery, that's the controller. Inside this is a Samsung Halong, and over here is a Parasonic Halong. Now, I don't have any other type of batteries here, but as far as lithium batteries go, as long as you get the right rated battery, you're fired. So, stick to braided cells, Stick to as high as many amps hours as you can, and then obviously take the size and weight consideration. Just don't be silly. The controllers are the main things you want to worry about. Batteries, you should just be looking at the best battery you can get for the bike. And um, where's the battery coming in that one? Well, that's a lot of charges down there, but that concludes our show for this week, month, whenever. But um, yeah, the next episode should be a bit more interesting. But, um, yeah, until next time, guys. So you all know, there's a fly in this workshop. There he is. Oh, my God, it's so annoying. Fucking... Oh, oh my God, he's flying around like a lunatic. Dude, Jesus, do you see? Oh, well...